This technique is called balanced ligament extension for lumbosacral tethering. So for this technique, I'm going to have my uh, caudide hand on the sacrum with the fingertips up at the sacral base and the uh, base of my palm down at the sacral apex. And my cephalad hand is going to be at L5. I could start by diagnosing L5, if you'd like. I could translate, and he prefers a side bending to the right. And I could check rotation, and he actually prefers um, rotation to the left. So I would say that his L5 diagnosis is neutral, side bent, right, rotated left. To start, I'm going to balance the ligamentous tensions between the sacrum and L5. So to do that, I'm going to have you bring your knees up and lift up your hips for me. I'm going to place my hand on the sacrum and the cephalad hand on L5, and you can come back down. And at this point, I'm going to pull some axial traction, okay, that's going to help uh, decompress or disengage the lumbosacral junction. And then I'm going to find a point of balance. So with that, I'm going to slightly uh, take him into his ease by side bending L5 to the right and rotating it to the left. And this really can be done by putting most pressure through the thumb by side bending to the right and rotating to the left, just like that. And relax right there. Once you find a point of balance, or uh, what can be known as the wobble point at this point, where you find no restrictive barriers no matter which direction you go into, uh, that is the point where you will hold that position. And eventually, you'll feel a therapeutic pulse move through the area. This would also be a good time to assess the craniorhythmic impulse through the sacrum. Okay, and it feels like things are moving better now. You may even feel an increased warmth in your hands as you're treating closer to the end of the treatment. Okay, and then you can lift up there. All right, come on back down. You can reassess while you're under uh, the patient or come and reassess L5, and that does have improved motion with less asymmetry.